Jordan Holiday International Classic. Imhotep came off the uh, City of Palms Championship. So this is a team that is top 10 worthy right now. Can they live up to that billing or do they relax on their... They are having a magical season right now, the Huskies. Edgecombe bobbled it a little bit, got blocked, couldn't put the second effort in, and the offensive rebound is there for Godswill Ararian. Through the bumps and understand the foul may not get called. And Danye is all cash on the three. Early 5-0 start for Luhai, but a quick response, and that's Okitando. Bishop Walsh desperately needs points. They have they've struggled scoring in the NIBC. Anything from the outside or in transition will make it easier for them. Well, they get the steal. Now they've got the transition going the other way, and Williams scoops it in. Five quick ones for Bishop Walsh. It's on this Bishop Walsh team that, like you said, struggles to score only 44 a game. And VJ Edge come in transition. He has really played well as of late. Here's Williams, lost his footing. Yeah, he had nowhere to go. Edgecombe, really good on ball defense. Ross kicks, open look. VJ Edgecombe splashes the three and 11 straight from Luhai. Nice curl. Fleming bounces inside. Okitando with a step back fadeaway. Offensive rebound, the stick back there for Kennedy. For Edgecombe and an assist on the alley-oop. Ross, who had the dunk, now with the rebounds. Euro step and banked in by Caden Mingo, just a sophomore. At the former legendary longtime head coach at Oak Hill always said, you're three games away from a winning streak. Kel Tyne lost the dribble, another Bishop Walsh turnover. Ross shovels off underneath, and Danye off the glass. Every pass and catch. Tyne, fadeaway, mid-range jumper. Defense has been all over him. Good luck. He lost his shoe, but Jaden Ross still dunks it. For Luhai, this team is sharing the ball so well. Give Jaden Ross a lot of credit. Go goes with 10. Ross, back cut, edge cut. Oh my goodness, nearly put him on a poster. Bishop Walsh gets one more run. Williams nearly banks it in at the buzzer. But that sends us to halftime and a really good first half from Luhai taking a 16 point break, point lead into the break. Junior class at 60 and the sophomore class at 25. So just because you may be a top 20 or so in your position doesn't mean you're guaranteed, especially in the younger classes. To they, they follow those two suits. Williams fading away in the mid-range. Difficult shot, but he still knocks it through. Jaden Ross. Whoever gets, whoever gets Jaden Reed is going to get a special player. How about B.J. Edgecombe? You're going to get a pretty special one there, too. B.J. Edgecombe with the hard finish. How about that dime? Woo! To Indanye. No mistake about it, three in the white. You want him on your team. Three-star ESPN recruit. Oh, man, how about the LSU commit and Williams? Decade, they have Cohen Carr. Plays for legacy in the NIBC. Maybe the best athlete in the class of 2023. Certainly one of the best finishers. Along with Booker, they, they have an athletic scoring class that average double figures, and they have five guys that play team defense. And Rob Smith sounded very confident on the phone today about his team's defensive approach. They're 12 and 0, undefeated, taking on a Cathedral team out of Indianapolis, who's had a really good season. Won a state title last year and looking to make it back to back this year in the state of Indiana. Selman banks it in for Bishop. They unknown, but wasn't necessarily a guy who was drawing huge game plans against him last year as a junior. Then he had a. They got up double digits in the first quarter and never looked back on their way to a 73. 47 right, win, and this gentlemen. team that's up to ninth in the country, Coach, is looking every bit like a ninth-ranked team in the country, getting it done on both ends of the floor today.